The Simpsons hit and run is still widely played to this day, but to 100% the game, it costs an ungodly amount of coins. So today I'm going to be ranking the top 10 ways I think are the fastest to collect coins. Without cheating. Coming in at number 10, there is a lemonade stand in level 1 that gives you 6 coins, which is actually pretty good, but it's number 10 because you can only use it once. Next. Number 9 is one we should not be sleeping on. There is some new stands in level 2 and level 5. They give you about 5 or 6 coins each. They're great to boost your amounts of coins during these levels, but they're in at number 9 because they're not in any of the other levels and they don't respawn. So extra, extra, get it while it's hot! Number 8, we got the level gags. Is that you, Lord? Sorry, I just really like that one. <laughs> These possibly could have been ranked even lower because they only give you one coin and there's not that many of them. But you do have to already get them to get 100% in the game anyway, so it's nice to get a coin for your hard work. Coming in seventh, we have the street lamps, trees, mailboxes, etc, etc. These are nice because as you're driving from mission to mission or just driving around, you can just slam into them and get some fast coins. The downfall though is that it drives up your police radar, so you can't do it too much. Unless you're good at running from the cops, which I am not. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. At number 6, I have ranked the telephone booths. These are nice because you get two coins each from them, and they're just as plentiful as the trees and whatnot, and they do respawn. So it's really nice to be able to hit these as you're just driving around doing your thing and get a little bit of coin on the way. However, you gotta watch out for that police radar again. <laughs> Ranked in at number 5, the vending machines! These suckers give you about 16 coins each, which is amazing. Unfortunately, there is a limited amount of them throughout each level, and they do not respawn. So that's why I've ranked them only at 5. In at number 4, I have put the wasp cameras. You get 26 coins for bashing these suckers, which is pretty awesome, but once again, there's limited numbers per level, and some of them are a real pain in the you know where but you already have to kill all of them anyway to get 100% completion, and they do not respawn, so that's why I've not ranked them higher. You might be a little shocked at this one, but I actually put the buzz boxes at number 3. While they do have the highest coin yield of the entire game, coming in at 31 coins for every box, once again there's a limited number and they don't respawn, so it is not a very reliable method for farming coins because you can only count on so many per level. Oh, he needs oh. some milk! Our runner-up, in my opinion, is the Krusty Glass! I find it really easy just to drive circles around town and bust all the Krusty Glass because they respawn by the time you get from one end of town to the other. You get five coins each for these and just have some fun driving around, bust some street lamps and some telephone booths and hit the Krusty Glass and you can build up some coins really fast. So even though they don't yield the highest amount of coins in the game, it's still pretty fun and easy to rack up with these. And that brings us to our number one. I think that the number one fastest way to rack up some coins is to destroy cars. Not your own car though, because it costs you coins if you destroy your own car, but by destroying other people's cars, you get 10 coins each. I often like to do this in combination with number two, so while I'm going around destroying the crusty glass, I will stop and destroy some cars along the way, and then while I'm just driving from crusty glass to crusty glass, that gives my police meter, or whatever you call it, some time to go back down. That is the biggest thing you have to be careful with this one, is your police radar goes up really high really fast, so you constantly have to be careful not to get a hit and run and lose coins. My method for this, however, if I'm not just driving around breaking all of the crusty glass, I like to do it right in front of a building that I can go inside of, because I notice that when you go inside of a building, your police radar disappears almost instantly. So I like to go outside of Moe's, or the DMV, the arcade if I'm on Lisa's level, or the school if I'm on Bart or Marge's level, destroy as many cars as I can, and as soon as I get a hit and run, I'll go to the door and run inside before the police can get me. You gotta be careful because I do fail at that often, so I try to just, when I get almost to the point of the police after me, I'll go in then, so that way I don't have to worry about getting busted while I'm getting out of my car. But yeah, that's what I've found to be the fastest method for me to farm coins. You guys might disagree or have fun doing it other ways, and that's perfectly fine. This video was just all in good fun and just my opinions. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button. Comment below your favorite ways to farm coins in The Simpsons Hint and Run. Let me know. And if you wouldn't mind, support me on 
Patreon. For as low as $3 a month, you can help me do this channel full time and then I'll start posting even more videos for you guys. Links to my Patreon and my merch are in the description. More videos coming soon, so make sure your notifications are turned on and I will see you on the flip side.